I'm vomiting. It's so yeah. fun. I was watching the Olympics this last summer Olympics, and I was amazed at how bad the questions were that porters would ask all the athletes. And almost always, they asked the same question: whether they were about to、uh, compete or after they competed. Were you nervous? Right? And to a T, all the athletes went no. Right? And what I realized is it's not. That they're not nervous. It's their interpretation of what's happening in their bodies. I mean, what what happens when you're nervous, right? Your heart rate starts to go. You're, you know, you sort of get a little tense. You get a little sweaty, right? You, you have expectation of what's coming, and we interpret that as I'm nervous. Now, what's the interpretation of excited? Your heart rate starts to go. You become you're anticipating what's coming, right? You get a little sort of like tense. It's all the same thing. It's the same stimuli, except these athletes, these these Olympic quality athletes, have learned to interpret the stimuli that the rest of us would say is nervous. As excited, they all say the same thing. No, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I mean, I would largely agree that perception is reality to a decent degree, right?、Mm -hmm. Like, I think the language that you use about things really shapes the way that you think about it. If I'm nervous about something, I will try to say like, "Hey, I'm just excited to get this done." Yeah. Or I'm excited that I finally have the opportunity to present on stage, and I do think that helps a lot. I also think like accepting it on a real physiological level of like just sitting with it and feeling it because if you use the word excited, you want to feel excited, right? right. I enjoy feeling excited. If I'm nervous, I am way more restricted, and I try to avoid it. So just using that language and then saying like I want to sit with these feelings and feel it for five minutes,、mm -hmm. I think helps me process them better. Oh, totally. I, I think you know reframing that in your mind is certainly helpful. Like excited has a very positive connotation. Compared to nervous,、mm -hmm. although I would challenge a little bit that all these athletes like have learned <laughs> how to get rid of nervousness and like yeah, it's、sure. only positive excitement for them anymore. Like I know that both of us really like to watch sports, and like I know some athletes, some world class athletes who like puke before every race,、Definitely. for example. Certainly, that is not like pleasurable for them, and it's not positive <laughs> excitement or whatever. I'm vomiting. It's so yeah. fun. Yeah, totally. It's just like you learn that growing up. You learn that in Training that every time the kid says I'm so nervous, the coach tells him, "No, you're not nervous. You're excited." Okay, you know, and like that's also it's a little bit of media training as well. It's like not to be weak, not to you know give your opponents opportunities to be like, "Oh, this dude is nervous."、Um, yeah, let's play okay, on that. Yeah, but I think it's helpful to reframe it in that way, and I I have done that myself ever since I've I've heard of that trick. Yeah, and I I think that humanizes the situation a lot. Where I think lots of athletes do it while they're nervous. Mm -hmm. And then you do it enough, and like the process helps you become more attuned to it. It's not as debilitating. It's not as overwhelming. I mean, some of them still puke, but like you've built up enough experience that it's not like going to make you quit. Exactly. I think that is a good point that you are addressing there. They are not trying to get rid of it either. They're trying to use it so it's very helpful for them. It's like so this is focusing me more so that I can concentrate better. Sure. During the race or during the game. So yeah, I think it's all about practicing how you can deal with nervousness and how you can use it for your own advantage. But you know, there is a, a real good trick to really get rid of nervousness. Have you ever heard of that?、Mm. It's preparing. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're well prepared, not sure. I mean, everyone can relate to this. I think if you're in school, you have to hold like a presentation in front of the whole class. Yeah. If you go there and you a few hours beforehand looked at the script the first time and then try to you know just Wing,、uh, it. wing it in the moment. You're nervous as shit. Like it's fucking crazy. Yeah,、But、totally. If you're really prepared, if you like practice the speech beforehand and everything, then sometimes like I went into the presentation wanting to give it so bad. You know, sometimes I had the situation once where the class ended before I got,、uh, was able to give the presentation, and like I begged the teacher that I still could do it. You know. Yeah, it's super uncomfortable, but I like I prepared so long for it, and I really wanted to show them how well I can do it. You're like, no, 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 seriously though, I want to do this now.、Mm -hmm. Totally. So I think that a lot of athletes have that same kind of thing where they have trained for this for such a long time, they feel so well prepared. It's like they can't wait until the clock begins to tick and they can、sure. get to action and start doing it. A lot of people, I think, what they're so nervous about is okay. I don't know. Let's talk about a situation where you have to present something. They feel like I've never presented before, so I am screwed. But、mm. if you present in the mirror, okay, or you present out loud, or even to a friend, yeah, to even your though, mom, whoever, exactly. Even though it's not mimicking that exact experience, I think our brain clicks the same way. 
Yeah. And it's like you said about a, a player. Uh, there's a famous quote from like Ray Allen, who was a basketball player with LeBron during the championship. Okay. And it's like the final shot and they pass it out to him and it's a high pressure three pointer mm-hmm. and he sinks it to win the championship. And they asked him and they said, well, how are you not nervous or whatever? And he's like, I was, but I practiced that shot a thousand times. And it often comes down to them not thinking in that moment. I mm-hmm. feel if LeBron got the ball and was like, oh shit, I got to make this. Oh shit, 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 shit. Uh-huh. Like the chances of him not making it are a tremendous. And- Higher. Higher. Yeah. And so I really think that they, they have become really good at turning off thinking in the right moments and really focusing just on the moment, on what they have trained so hard for. So prep enough that it feels second like nature and then trust mm-hmm. your instincts in the moment. Oh, yeah, definitely. And reframe it so that it feels more like excitement and not as much as, as nervousness. You go in with a positive attitude.